So now I paralleled the the batteries. Um, I basically um, put a fuse on the end on one end, and then the, this end over here on battery number one is the negative side. And so I pretty much tied them all together, and I'm getting three, three five four, three five five right now. So what's happening is. Um, any differences in voltages right now, the batteries are actually balancing out each other by being in parallel. Um, so what I'm going to do is let them, let them sit here for a while. Um, do another reading here. So there's 354. So everything is 354 because it's all being tied together. Um, so I want to let them sit here for a while and then, um, I'm going to charge. My plan is to charge them to 3.6. So these are Calb um, one, uh, 160s. Um, and I bought them used. They're a different, they're a little bit different. Um, the batteries are in a little bit different shape. They basically marked when I, the, the person that I bought them from basically marked what they tested them at, how many amp hours. Uh, how, how, I don't know how accurate that is, but they have various uh, different amp hours on them. They arrived in pretty much the, sa um, the same voltage. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them up to 100, um, sorry, take them up to 3.6 from um, 3.55 roughly. And um, then I'm going to uh, plan on putting them into series. And then um, the next step is to um, just discharge them um, a bit. Um, so they're up as high as the manufacturer wants you to take them at 3.6. Um, so I'm going to probably take them down to about 60% of what their um, life is or what their, you know, just for storage and for, um, you know, working with the batteries and testing out my stuff. So um, that's my plan. I'll let you know what happens next. I'm letting them sit at least overnight. So my situation now is that I've um, been letting the batteries sit in parallel um, for about 10 hours. And um, I paralleled them at um, 5.55 volts. And um, right now they're sitting at about um, 3.47. So my guess is what's been happening is these this battery here I, I charged a long time ago and I topped it off recently to 3.55. This one was kind of freshly charged up to 3.55 and also I topped them so I topped all these before I parallel them but I've got a feeling that um, what's happening is that the energy level um, is a little bit different in in these in these batteries and when you charge them up to the there's a steep slope of, of um, curve that the um, the batteries take it's a very flat voltage um, uh, about the nominal 3.2 volts and then once you get up into the 3.5 area that's a real steep slope and so the batteries can easily easily fall down that slope so um, I'm thinking what's happening is I'm just going to continue to experience some voltage drop on this um, and they are used batteries so I don't know if that has anything to do with it um, but what I'm going to do is um, just let them sit for a while longer and see if I continue to experience um, voltage drop because what they're doing is they're balancing right now um, between all these cells are balancing in parallel and um, what I you know the stronger batteries are pouring current into the weaker ones and um, what I probably want to do is just keep that process going um, until I have no more voltage drop and then I'm guessing then I can um, put them in series and um, the, they'll be properly top balanced. Okay, I was away for a few weeks and now um, I returned home and I hooked um, the positive this side and the negative this side. Um, that's where, that's how you're supposed to charge. Um, again, I'm in a 
full um, parallel right now. So I charged them up to 355, 3.55, and uh, the most that these are supposed to be able to take are um, 360, according to the book. Other, uh, these are um, calves, but um, the other ones are um, the um, other uh, types of cells. Usually, or you can take them up to 365. These are uh, max at at um, 360 um, and so uh, you can kind of see what what's happening here um, on the voltmeter um, I'm 341 here um, so um, I think that's you know gonna be um, <laughs> why well, obviously I lost I took them to 355 so I've lost um, 15 um, 150 milliamps um, I mean millivolts. So I'm gonna um, now. I'm gonna turn on my um, turn on my charger. Um, let's see what do I got. So I'm turn I'm turning my charger to 3.8. I've got it's like 3.85 coming out there. Um, I've got the leads on the on these probes uh, where I'm reading this voltage here, and I've got three. I'm reading 355 at the terminals. The terminal post right here um, so and again you're supposed to put um, the negative on right over there and the positive right here uh, in a parallel configuration okay so um, I'm I'm up at 15 it's drawn 15 amps this is a lot of current um, I'm I'm uh, pretty much um, you know exceeding again exceeding the voltage that's um, on the output of the power supply. However, if I look at the voltage here, I'm only at 351. So if I wanted to, I probably could even take it up a little more, um, but I can't I can't leave at this voltage, right? I'd have to kind of hang out. Um, and if I wasn't gonna hang out, if I didn't want to hang out, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd turn it down to, let's just say 3.6, right? Um, and, and I'd get far less amps. So I'm going to go ahead for now. I'm just going to turn it up just a little bit. Um, I'll probably turn it to uh, 3, 3.9 volts. And I've got 16.5. This is a 20 amp power supply. So um, that's probably... Um, I'm sorry, it's a... It's a, um, it's a uh, yeah, 20, 20 amps. So it's it's... It's basically that's pretty much taxing it. I could pretty much go 16 and be pretty safe that I wasn't going to burn out my power supply um, over a long period of time. So I'll get back to you when I um, when when we uh, when we you know get a little bit further. Okay, um, what I did was I I charged. I ran in parallel. I had these things sitting right now that I. I arranged them in series, but I had them sitting uh, in parallel for probably about 10 days. And then um, I, I kind of came back to the batteries and I looked like they were, um, I charged them up to about 3.6 per cell. And um, they ended up, um, you know, dropping down to, I think, uh, around 3.4 um, so then what I did was I charged them up to um, uh, the maximum which these cells go to is 3.6 uh, and then um, I measured each cell and it was they were each at 3.6 and uh, so I basically then uh, put them I put them in this um, parallel configuration so you can kind of see the pluses uh, right there and the minuses right there and um, I was reading um, sort of maximum voltage I think it was like 14.4 between cells um, between the you know when it when it was in parallel um, oh sorry I just had an accident here so so what I'm doing now is it's not really that good to run your cells, you know, keep them up, keep them up at, um, you know, the cell voltages uh, so somewhere around 
3.6, which is maximum, it's better to keep them probably at around 13.8. So what I've done is I've um, hooked up a um, inverter here, a 200 watt inverter with my soldering iron. And um, I've got here a um, just a, a plug that plugs in my inverter. It's uh, my boat inverter. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking down the voltage to the resting voltage of 13.8. Um, so hopefully then um, what I'm going to get is, um, so there I have, I'm reading the pack voltage of 13.7, which it's discharging quite a bit now. So let's see, I'm reading, I'm reading 3.4 per cell right now. Um, so um, I'm going to probably, I'm going to, Right now, I'll flip this inverter off and see what happens real quick. Um, so I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Uh, this, this soldering iron draws 30 watts. So let's see. I'm at 13.7 still. I don't know if it's going to recover, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that things got down to around 13.7, 13.8. And then um, I was going to um, test the individual cells after that. I'll be back to you.